Hello YouTube, it's T0BMI and today I'm going to show you uh, a Yosu um, program uh, called uh, Art which uh, comes with all Yosus um, and I want to show you how it works. Basically uh, it's a good thing to know if you two are in range with each other. Um, at the minute I'm on a simplex frequency um, I have ident, and I've also got CW ident set up on these, so they ident every uh, 10 minutes or so. Um, basically, what happens is every 20 or 30 seconds, this one will transmit and it will pick up on my base rig. I'm just using that, the ASU 8900. As you'll see, if I just hold it up here, there's a bit of uh, noise on this frequency, but when, that, when the green light stays on for about a second that's when it's receiving a packet there you go that just transmitted then there you go heard that two beeps that means that the the AC just transmitted to that one and this will do back same there you go just transmit to that one now if these two don't get a beacon within a minute I think it is um, it will then say out of range on there so it's a good way of knowing that two stations are in range with each other and if they're not, the ACs will warn them and there's another feature on these as well um, that uh, is a CWI dip which I was explaining earlier you may actually witness uh, some of it going on, I don't know but uh, I'll just show you how it basically works, let's turn up the AC uh, this is 2-0-BMI it uses DCS, Digital Coded Squelch if I key up on this one, you should hear two beeps from this one. 2E0BMI, test on 123. 2E0BMI. Okay. And um, that's basically what it's uh, doing. And it's using DCS, I don't can't see the screen that well, but there you go, that's what it's using. Um, you could also, if you want to, you can also see the other video where I'll put this in the sink. Um, put the HT in the sink. That's. Uh, quite amusing uh, just to see if it is actually waterproof handy little belt clip like so now getting back onto the subject you can set these to do two different things you could have uh, in ring and out ring um, basically I have in ring on both of them so so, sorry, mine. so that um, they both transmit and beacon to one another so if I was to go down to say if my mate had one of these and uh, we we didn't want to keep calling over. We set these to CWI then, which you, I'm hoping you'll hear soon, and such and such. And then uh, we'll know if we're in range because as soon as we get out of range, these will let us know. That'll say that'll beep a few times and say out of range. If it don't receive a beacon within a minute, I think it is. The ASU sends it a beacon every 30 seconds, and I think this one sends one every 20. They just send it then. I've never had them clash yet. But they are getting close because it just received and transmits. So I'll be interested to see if that does end up. Um, let's just see if that, see if it does. No, the handset just transmitted. And uh, the AC just did. Uh, the base AC. This is, as far as I know, the AC is the only people that have this feature on the rigs. I wish I had another AC handset. I don't. Otherwise I could have done it with two hands, and that would have been a little bit more interesting than just having it with a base rig. It's a very handy feature. I, I do like it anyway. And uh, the um, I see the potential. I wouldn't use it though. I wouldn't personally use it, but I thought, well, it's there. Let's make a YouTube video. Um, now what I will do, why I'm just showing you, is I'm just going to exit this mode. Simply to exit, you just press the function button. I'm going to show you how to get into the mode. You press the function button and then zero. That'll take you to the me menu and go to number two and then simply click zero. I'll get it in a minute. There we go. And click that. Oh, sorry, no, click the function there. And um, that'll say always. And if you scroll through with a knot, you could have off into ring or always. I have this one on always. So just click the function button and that puts it straight into the mode. 
Now you can still talk with one another in this, but if you say had someone that was on a Kenwood, here we go, did you hear that beep? It's now saying to me, out of range, because it, this one hasn't transmitted for a while, but if I, tr there you go, now it says in range. Okay, it's a great little feature that the Asus have done, uh, but I wouldn't use it, stop, I ain't going to use it with anyone, but uh, it's um, something they added on and it's quite interesting. Now as I was saying, if you wanted to have a third party come in, but didn't have arts on their radio, because they're using the Kenwood and Icom or uh, a link or whatever, um, they need the same DCS code. Now at the minute I've got these DCS codes on 023, if you look in your manual, um, actually I'll show you. If you go to the menu the same way, press the function N0, scroll to, I'll show you, hold on a minute, uh, number 13 and click the function button, that'll take you and I'm on DCS.023, uh, that's the lowest one I think, I believe, anyway let's have a look, okay it is, so we're going to go back to, let's turn that TX on, you put in your CW message in there, so I'm just going to turn this up and play it to you. Okay, that's sent it to you, zero BMI. Okay, that's now saying it's out of range, but I'm not. It's just because I've not transmitted in a little while. Oh. Okay, so we're going to go back to. Sorry, I've got a bit of interference in Back to memory number three. Uh, sorry, memory number two, and we go back to DCS, and now if I key up that will say in range, if you listen, two, so everyone, that's now saying it's in range, and the same for both ways, they both work like that, so, I'm just hoping you may, there we go, and that's now saying, that's now done the same, it's in range, um, now the other stations, that I don't know if I've got another two metre hand sitting on, I haven't, but the other stations will just hear a blank key uh, every so often, like every like 30 seconds. I'll just hear a dead key come up and then it'll drop. Um, it doesn't send any sort of packets over or anything. Uh, it just sends a blank carrier with the DCS code. And that's what these ASUs use to know they're in range. You can talk to each other and it won't beacon, obviously, because you're beaconing for it. Um, and uh, it's just a clever thing. I mean, if you're on... If you're doing some kind of uh, emergency event uh, and you want to know if the other station's in range, that's the best way to go, use art. But, um, yeah, it's handy. Um, uh, you can do many things with it. I don't think there's any limitations, really, of what you can do with it. But the ASUS the only model that, uh, that make their handsets capable with this. As far as I know, I haven't looked, so... You know, there may be some I don't know about, but um, that's that's basically it. That's uh, that is art. And I was hoping to get a CW ident in this uh, video to show you how it idents, but I don't know if we're going to get that. So it sends uh, DE and then my call sign to use every one. And then it sends the letter K to let you know it's over. And this handset will do the same back to that. And that's obviously for, um, uh, oh, I think of it. That's obviously for identification purposes, which is the law on amateur radio. But um, make sh these send ident every ten minutes. I think they do. Anyway, that's the video. I'm sorry if you found that boring, but I didn't really have much to make it on, and I thought I've never made a video on it before, so let's go for it. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully see you, uh, see you watching more videos.